So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am not in an amazing headspace today. Um, and even for the last two weeks, really, um, I just feel like I already fucked up the surgery and I've already made mistakes and I have regrets regarding the surgery, but I don't know. So I don't know where to start, but let's start with the mistakes. I think the biggest mistake I've made with this surgery was not facing all of my demons before I actually had the surgery done. I don't think I fully confronted my food addiction. I don't think I fully confronted my lifestyle. I don't think I fully confronted the dedication that I need to make this successful and it's clearly showing in my weight loss. Like I should be a lot further along almost two months out and only have lost 23 pounds. What sense does that make at all? I, I just I just don't think that um I was really a hundred percent prepared to go into the surgery. Um, I thought I was, I thought I had it down, but clearly now that I'm in it, I don't. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be successful with the surgery. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to stop trying, but just at this pacing and knowing that once you're a certain amount of time out, your weight loss is going to slow down to the point where it's you're just going to have a regular stomach again and I'm not taking advantage of this time it's just it feels like it feels like it's just not going to be a successful thing for me um another mistake that I've made was not consistently working out I really haven't um, in between starting a new job and starting a new, like, schedule and not having energy at all, I haven't worked out. I have not worked out consistently since I started back working, um, during my fourth week post-op. I have not consistently worked out at all, and it's been about a month, and it's clearly shown in my weight loss, and even during the first month of my weight loss... I um, didn't lose as much weight as I was supposed to. And I think that, um, I don't think it's going to get any better. I think it's going to get slower and it's going to take me a long time to lose this weight. And it's not the way everyone makes it out to be where you're just dropping weight really quickly. Definitely that was the expectation. That's how medical professionals described it to me that's how people who are you know six years post-op it feels like I am you know kind of where I was pre-op like I feel like nothing really has changed except my portion sizes and you would think just because my portion sizes were smaller that I would be losing weight and I'm really I'm honestly not um I do not regret my story at all that's definitely not what this video is about it's not about actually regretting my surgery it's more about regretting the mistakes that I've made since having surgery because I definitely of course I had the opportunity to work out but like the amount of energy that I had I just I had there was nothing for me to expend I'm sleeping consistently I'm so tired all the time and I barely have the energy to go into work let alone do other, you know, workouts and stuff. Um, now that I'm kind of really trying to analyze what is going wrong in my journey, I'm starting to figure out that I need to do things not by the book, not by what my surgeon says, but what works for me. And that means I'm going to have to start experimenting to see what actually does work for me. Um, 
I'm going to do some research and figure out what pre-workout I, workout I can take so I have energy to actually work out. Um, I don't know what else I can do outside of that because I think that the only component that I'm missing, honestly, is the physical activity and my emotional stability. Um, so since I'm addressing the, the physical aspect by trying to research and see what I can do to give myself energy to do the physical activity, now I need to start trying to work out what my emotional stability actually looks like and what do I need to do to achieve that. So I do um, have some appointments set up and lined up to start getting back into counseling therapy see what i can do to make this better for myself and maybe that emotional component would also help boost my energy levels to do the physical component um all i can say at this point seven weeks out is that i'm disappointed in myself that's it and People keep telling me you can't compare your journey to other people's. And I understand why they say that. But from a scientific specific, <laughs> from a scientific standpoint, you have to collect and compare data. And if I can't find out what a average expectation is I can't gauge whether or not I'm on the right track and I refuse to believe that something similar isn't happening to other people so really this video is to kind of reset my mind it's really to reset why I did the surgery and why I am on this path in the first place so with that being said thank you for all the love and support that you guys provided me um I had a today's Wednesday I had a weigh-in on Monday and I was 289.8 um I weighed in this morning at 289.0 so that was something but I have a goal for myself in my head of where I want to be um, in June, when the beginning of the summer. So I have a lot of work to do. Um, my goal is to be at 250 pounds in June. So we will see <laughs> how that works out. So I have a lot to work to do to get there and a little under two months but thanks for coming back to my channel um i don't know if i'm gonna consistently be posting videos weekly because from week to week really a lot of things haven't changed so i feel like i'm kind of struggling to make good content for you guys i really thought that i would be able to um give you good content on a week to week basis and week to week it really isn't changing that much so when stuff happens like this I am making a video and expressing it and sharing it with you guys but until the next thing happens until something big happens um I'll see you next time thank you guys don't forget to hit me up on Instagram bye